September 4th, 2024. That's the first time I've come out here and I couldn't hear the music because wow. it was so loud. Wow. It wow. was really loud. <laughs> Just like at home when I come home to the front door. Yes, that's right. Crickets. Although I will say, Lena gets very excited very when you come excited. home. Very excited. She, uh. you know, Lena has, uh, does this thing where, you know, when Mark walks through the door, she speaks to him. And she speaks in a way, I'm going to do it, because I do a very good Lena impersonation, but she, she does this thing. Like, she's just complaining about me, I'm sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then, Kelly. No. And, and you know what she does? Like, she does. <laughs> she's not my favorite. <laughs> she doesn't scratch my belly. Belly. Although, you know, because we were away from Lena for a little bit on this vacation, um, there was this bird that would come onto the breakfast table every morning. <laughs> and it had a beak. Unlike any other beak I've seen. It's like the a top, broken beak. The top beak was like this. It's like that. And I've seen this bird's been there for a couple years. Every time we go, I've, so I know that it's eating just fine. And um, Beaky is what I called her. Or Becca would be a better name. Yeah. Well, you call her Beaky. Beaky. And I call her just like I call Chewy. <laughs> and I thought the bird would come every morning for me when I did that. No. <laughs> The bird only comes when you have toast. When I have toast. <laughs> yes, that's but I when like the that bird, bird. That bird is hardy. That bird's a survivor. No, but it's funny. I realize that you attach yourself yes. to the tiniest... The runt. The runt of the... I, because yes. I, I relate. <laughs> <laughs> I was the runt of the litter. You were? Yeah, I'm the little one. Yeah, I look at you as the big one. Of course you do. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hey, listen, I told you I told you yesterday, uh, if you watch the show, that I would show some photos of the trip I went to Italy, the last few days of vacation, yeah. to catch our team, the Campobasso Wolves, in their first home game. Campobasso! Hey, you guys have the merch. You got, thank you so much for supporting the team. Molise. Porto Campobasso. Tell you something. We should do an entire show in Italian. Yeah, it is. Uh, it will Italian be the episode. sexiest show we've yeah. ever done. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we went there to see the first game, but we also went there to talk to the mayor, the new mayor of Campo Basso. Oh, incredible. Yes, Mayor Forte. <laughs> oh, Ma yes. Mayor Forte, and here's a photo of me and Mayor Forte. Uh -huh. um, and she gave. Me <laughs> so we gave her a jersey. We gave her a jersey, and here's the thing about the jersey. Do you call her Madame Mayor? Um, Signora Sindico. Sindica. Signora Sindica. Sindica. Signora Sindica. Um, the thing is that we have two players with the last name Forte, so we just stole one of their jerseys. Oh, and gave it to her. Yeah, we gave Amazing. it to her. Yes. And she loved How it. And convenient. so we're, we're looking to expand our stadium, and there's some bureaucracy that she's going to help us with. Oh. And she's very excited. I love bureaucracy. We're going to help her with just, you know, <laughs> social stuff in the city. Um, and I brought my good luck charm. Lola Consuelos oh. is... Yes. Yes. Lola Consuelos. Lola? She's my good luck charm. And Lola also uh, will figure out a way to get a free trip to Italy. <laughs> Well, she, he, she's, I mean, close. She, she's close. She's close. She, she's in London, so it's only a, it's only a couple hours away from from London. Um, and we only win when I bring her. Oh. So, and we won again. We we signed a player. We signed a player, um, Lorenzo Di Stefano. Yes. Hours before the game. Hours before the game. We'd have troubles. We had trouble scoring in the preseason. We hadn't There's scored a goal. There's so much drama yeah. that goes on that I now understand. I don't speak, but I understand. Fluent Italian soccer drama in a way that most people do not. So anyway, we had trouble scoring. Our strikers were, you know, they haven't played together. So we get we get this guy. He comes down from Serie B to play with us mm. in Serie C. He gets into the game. He, he got him cleared. He gets into the game in the second half, and in 26 seconds, he scores our first goal. Wow. Wow. Money well spent. Yeah. And, this, and then Lo and I, Lo and I were celebrating. I think we have a video of Lo and I celebrating. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> and the fans, the 
fans uh, of Combo Basso are amazing. They came out. I think we almost had 5,000 people out there, wow. for, you know, for for our first game. I think we have, and we got to say hi to them. And they're really, it's 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 a it's a religion there. I'm it's just so amazing. proud. Amazing. I'm so proud, proud of, you. of you. Well, I'm proud of you too. You, 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 <laughs> I do nothing. You do everything. Occasionally ask me things about like, do you think we should hire this person or that person? I go, please, I am begging you, <laughs> leave me out of crucial decision making because Lola, Lola weighs in if they're cute or not. Oh really? She goes, yeah, he's cute. You should hire. You should sign. He's him. cute. You should, you should sign them, and, and she's been right so far. Okay. She's been right. There you go. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, we were talking about, and I have it here, it's backstage, the uh, Legends Award. I don't know if oh. you have a place <coughs> where yes, you right. want to well, I, we put need it. We to see it to yes. figure out someone the bring it out? Yeah. Maybe we could have somebody bring yeah. it out. You got but it. the reason I bring this up is because we, Mark and I, the day of the Legends ceremony, in the breakfast buffet line at Disneyland, um, at the Disneyland Resort, uh, met this couple and they were so lovely. It was a family of people. And they <laughs> said to us, oh, give us a shout out because we'll be cheering for you. And they said, we'll be in uh, section 207, row G, seats 2010 and 2011. And I was like, no problem. I will do that. And I wrote it down on my notes on my phone because I, you know, you had to. You memorized it too. You, you, had, to you, had, it, you had it. In I your had head. it in my head. I had right. it totally memorized right. because I know myself. And you know, you have to submit your speech ahead of time so they can load it into the teleprompter because they didn't want us up there ad libbing things because that's how your one and a half minute speech becomes your thirty five minute speech easily. So I. You know, I had it in my head. I got up there. When you stand in front of that many people, it's like twenty thousand plus, and right? they're cheering for you, yeah. and they're being very kind. Your mind goes completely blank, and I just went right to the teleprompter because my mind was Smart. blank. So Smart. I, I forgot. Okay. I forgot to thank them. So. Uh, Stephen said, uh, "Congratulations, great meeting you in the veranda, but at the, in the grand elevator." Anyway, you made my mom's trip meeting you. Shout out section 207, row G. And I said, you know, my mind, I, so I responded to him. I go, I remember you. My mind went blank up there. And I was thinking, wait, what row, what section? It was just blank. Right. And he said to me, um, we were so proud of you. We were screaming. And if you want to mention us on the show, especially my mom, Susan, that would be great. Oh. So I wanted to mention, oh, here it is. We'll find a place. It's really tall for the shelf. It's tall for. That's what yeah. I thought. I thought no, we'll, it was we'll too tall right for the here. shelf. We'll so we'll it. just leave it. It, 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 it next to the flag. Yes, we'll put it, it next to the flag. That yes. is such, Isn't that, that is cool? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, it's look at very that. cool. Yeah. So there it is. That's it's heavy. The, oh my gosh, that's really. Yeah, heavy. it's very heavy. They didn't let us carry it off the stage because no. they know. Because yeah, they know us. They know that we can't have nice things. Well, I'm glad you got to um, give them a shout out. They were yeah. lovely. Um, you know, I'm just going to move it over here so I can see. Be my careful with that. Yeah, you know, I was uh, in the afternoon. Uh, you were doing, I think you were doing a podcast yesterday, and yes. I got to had a couple hours of downtime. I got to watch the U.S. Open, yeah. and this, the USA guy, Chris. <laughs> What's his first name? Yeah. Taylor Fritz. Yeah. Oh Good-looking, tall guy. He was uh, playing against this other really tall guy. Um, Sarah, huh? Svera. Svera, thank you so much. Man, it's exciting. Yeah. The, well, American, the American one. What the American would we one. do without this audience well, telling us? <laughs> Think about yeah. that. And so now yeah. Fritz goes and plays. Who does he play? Tiafu. Tiafu. Oh, Americans. yeah, we Tiafu. saw Tiafu. Play. So it's two yeah. Americans. Two Americans. Two Americans in the semi final. Which means they'll be an American that in the final. That means they'll be American yes. in the final. Oh, it's a long time since that happened. Like, when was the last time that happened? Andy Roddick. Andy yeah, Roddick. Andy Roddick was the last time. 2003, he won. Yes. 2003, yeah, right? Male singles player. Male, yeah. So a, ma a male. A, a singles player hasn't won a, a Grand Slam in 23 US. years. Yeah. U.S. American, yeah. American, American, American. But on the other side of the bracket, it got my guy Yannick Sinner from Italy. 
Oh, yes, you've been yes. following Yannick oh, Sinner. Yeah. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> uh, You're so torn. I, well, of course, I'll be rooting for the American, but I won't be disappointed if the Italian wins either. But it's, You're uh, so <laughs> diplomatic. This is why you should run for president. Yeah. The diplomacy. The diplomacy no, involved. thank you. Um, so the hats. The hats at the U.S. Open have become a huge, huge thing. Did you even go to the U.S. Open? These are Michael Gelman's hat. I'm wondering what that oh. is on there. What do you think well, that is? Well, it's yeah. all Gelman 100. A bird. <laughs> I actually play tennis in that hat. Yeah, that's a little soft. Oh, these are your actual these tennis are from, hats? This is from last year, you think? Or what year is this from? You know, that one is, this is doesn't really have cool. a year. Yeah, I think it is but last they're, year. But they're like... Oh, this one. Oh, this one's special. This one is the 20, 2019 President's Suite. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you know what uh, okay, Gelman is not of the people. He's of that the president. One, uh, yeah, what year is that? That's 2018. 2018. Oh, uh, 20. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. Um, but it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quite a thing to have these hats. We have a couple of hats. Do we? Yes, we do. Well, I'd like a new one. I, <laughs> well, you can go. To the US Mr. and Mrs. or Mrs. U.S. Open, please send me. <laughs> you can go to the U.S. Open. I know, but it's just got, I, I know, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. I've got a lot of stuff happening. I'd like to watch it. I know we did go that one year. It was really, it was really fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> you, I'd like a hat. Oh, you want them to just send you a send hat? Me a hat. Well, send me a hat. We, I can pick you Gilman, up. Gilman, can't you're go going? Tonight. You're going tonight. tonight. Yeah. So oh, you, who are you so watching you'll tonight? Up, who are you watching tonight? Yeah, they're there's all going to be There's something about the U.S. Yeah. Open. There's, really it's, there's nothing like those crowds. Yeah. They're rowdy. Yeah. Um, I love the woman, the, the announcer, who's always like, quiet, please. Quiet, please. <laughs> quiet, please. <laughs> and I'm like, you're going to have to try harder than that. Very polite. Yeah. Can you imagine dealing with your neighbors by going, quiet, please? <laughs> so who, who do you like in the Fritz uh, Tiafu? Who do you like? Who do you think? Oh, that's going to be Very different styles. Yeah. You know, on any one day, as it's proven with the, all these big guys getting uh, eliminated, like on any one day, anyone can win, yeah. depending on how they're feeling. Because yeah, the top guys, uh, Jokovic and um, Alcaraz. Alcaraz, yeah. Alcaraz guys, are did out. Did you just hear the sports metaphor Gelman just laid on us? <laughs> At any one day, anyone can win. Exactly. Wait, and there's a, there's a female um, in the semis, yeah? <laughs> Navarro? Yeah, Navarro. American. Emma Navarro, yeah. the yeah, female she beat uh, Coco Goff. She beat incredible. Coco Goff. Yeah, and so she's in the semifinals. So, mm. yeah. all right, yeah. that's to, that's. To all. I love it. We have such a big, uh, big show. I, I guess I don't have time to go on my diatribe, but I have a diatribe no. okay. to go on. We, we can I'll go tomorrow. on it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because here's why. I have a bone to pick about a thing or two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll yeah, have wait. to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> so tune in for my diet tribe tomorrow. Yeah. Is, it about, is it about me? No. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Maybe. Not, not yet. Maybe. Not yet. Maybe. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, on today's show, Elizabeth Olsen is here. I see it. I see the lust in your eyes. It's time to play. <laughs> All right. Let's say hello to Tanya Nielsen from Orem, Utah, who watches the show on KSTU. She wants to stump me because she watches Stump Mark with her family every morning, and it's her turn to stump him. <laughs> okay, that's what she said. It's always easy to stump Mark from home. Good morning, Tanya. How are you? Good morning. Good. How are you guys? We're doing, doing great. great. How is Utah today? Is you guys feeling the heat there? Yeah, it's still a little hot. It's around 80 degrees, man. Wow. Oh, okay. Too much. That's not, that's not so well, bad. Well, it's early for 80 degrees. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's yeah. just three hours. Yeah. Is it two hours or three hours? Two what do you hours. guys? Two? Uh, I think it's two hours, yeah. Seven o'clock? Seven something? Okay. All right, listen. Yeah. Tanya, you know how this game works. You've given us two <laughs> statements. One is true, one's not. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is the truth, and if you stump me, you'll win this. <laughs> It never 
never gets less dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here are Tanya's statements. I met singer Jack Johnson in the grocery store. Or Bruno Mars saying directly to me. All right. How do you, were you at a concert, at a Bruno Mars concert? Um, I was at his club, the Pinky Lounge. Oh, in, was that in Hawaii? It's in Las Vegas. Oh, it's in Las Vegas. Okay, and how many people were in that lounge? Um, I would say between 100, 200. Oh, okay. And so what did you do? Walk up to your table and like sing directly to you? Well, you have to put down a lot of money for a table. So I opted to stand. Okay. <laughs> so I stood in the front row and when he came out, he pointed at me and we locked eyes. And I was like, we're getting married now. I, I get it. I met Bruno Mars once. I felt the same way. <laughs> like, what's that song I love? Anyway. Um, I'll, so tell me about Jack Johnson. Does he like uh, full fat yogurt or zero fat yogurt? <laughs> well, we were at the deli counter and huh? he walked past and I said to my husband, hey, I think that was Jack Johnson. And he said, are you sure? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So we walked over to him, and sure enough, it was Jack Johnson. And was he getting boar's head turkey, or what? <laughs> no, he's more of a ham guy. Ham more guy. More of a ham guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow, these both sound great. I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, I'm going to say Bruno Mars saying directly to you. Oh, you're right. Yes. <laughs> You know what, Tanya, I wouldn't feel bad about losing the mug or the t-shirt because Bruno Mars sang directly to you. I know. <laughs> All right, listen. I'm sorry, you didn't win the mug or the t-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for great giveaways, getaways, travel trivia. <laughs> See what else Tanya's playing for. All right. Okay, you are playing for a trip for two to the Jewel Grand in Montego Bay Resort and Spa in Jamaica. I mean, people really reacted to that. Can only take one of you, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Seven days and six nights in an oceanfront suite. It's all inclusive. It's a prize value at sixty-two hundred dollars. You have twenty seconds, and only one guest. Tanya, good luck. All right, Tanya, here we go. On yesterday's show, we talked with Max Greenfield. Who did Max say inspired him to write his current book? Uh, his friend Leslie Jordan. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Jewel Grand Montego Bay. Get away from it all at this ultimate tropical island paradise. This all-inclusive luxury resort boasts a world-class full-service spa, two sparkling swimming pools, a state-of-the-art fitness facility, private beachside cabanas, and gorgeous Montego Bay accommodations. Your prize is valued at approximately $6,200. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a Roomba vacuum Ooh. cleaner from iRobot, the coveted <laughs> robot vacuum cleaner. Please pick a number between 1 and 135. I'm going with 83. 83. <laughs> Elizabeth Olsen is here. Stick around. Still ahead on live. Derek Huff. We'll open up the inbox to hear your comments and 
request. Welcome back, everyone. Don't forget on tomorrow's show, Carrie Coon will be here. Oh, and Daniel J. Kim will be DDK. here. DDK. Yes, and Tamron Hall will be joining us awesome. now. You know her from, as the Scarlet Witch from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and from the series Love and Death. Now she stars in the new film, His Three Daughters. Please welcome back to the show, Elizabeth Olsen. <laughs> Home is L.A., New York was home Yeah. once upon a time, almost 10 years ago now, which is strange. Do you miss it here or not really? I've started to. I've you started have. to miss how much you can do in a day mm -hmm. and cult, like a lot of culture in one day. When yes. I was living here doing a movie that I'm here to talk about mm -hmm. about a year and a half ago, I think my Saturdays, I would see a movie, go to a museum, go to see a friend on Saturday Night Live. Right. And it was which is like a, kind of an absurd part of the night. But um, but I felt like I could do so much in a day, and I missed that yeah. culture and that rhythm. Yeah. yeah and you can walk everywhere to get there, yeah. which is also yeah. nice. Yeah, not sitting in traffic for hours. So I hear when you were living here in years past, you were a realtor or you worked for a realtor? I worked for a realtor. Okay. Yeah, I was 19, and my it was... The, my summer jobs, I didn't want to work at a restaurant because I didn't think right. I'd be good at it. Sure. Uh -huh. um, and I loved real estate. <laughs> and so I really was a personal assistant to a realtor, but okay. I had to get my real estate license so that they could so pay you got me it. properly. You got yeah, the license. Yeah, so I did. I think the, the amount of hours you have to spend doing the classes have changed significantly <laughs> okay. since. But it was, a, we, it was like 70 something hours of class or oh, wow. something. But it was, I mean, I really just remember being 19 and like whatever I thought a real estate outfit was with like knee high socks and a dress or something <laughs> uh -huh. and really just filling his fridge with Diet Cokes and waters and you know trucking back and forth for this to the CVS because that's all he wanted in his fridge. What don't, what don't we know like as as people like wanting to buy a property or rent a property what what don't we know? What should we be on the lookout for? Oh God, you probably know everything. I mean, I don't, I don't know any. I mean, I, this is a hundred and twenty-seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Was right. there a bed bug incident? There is a, yo, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, the other <coughs> thing I did for him was, I mean, this is like me not even setting up homes and showing them the way you're supposed, right. that's really was my job. Right. But I, he had bed bugs in his home. Oh. And he had bed bugs. My realtor, I mean, the guy I worked for. Sorry, Jared. Um, <laughs> I won't say your last name. Well, it can, it can happen. <laughs> It can happen to anybody. It can happen to anybody. Right. And so he had bed bugs. And so I had to go across town with these trash bags filled with these like specific fur pillows that had to go to a specific fur cleaning place oh. to clean the bed bugs out of his pillows. And I'm just like myself, he, at you know, a teenager. He wanted to keep the pillows? He yeah. just didn't throw them away? No, because they were special to him. Oh, I'm sure they were special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I mean, did you, did you, uh, did you, did they get they, out? They, did they? Ninety-nine percent yeah. alcohol. Yeah, after? Exactly. Yeah. Did you? I mean, I think so. I that think that is my I biggest nightmare. Yeah, I bed bugs. I mean, of course. Yeah. I feel like in New York City, you're not supposed to take things off the streets because you just should assume. That's like correct. Like when people want to get rid of something, yes, and you just go and pick well, it up. That's and you're a like, nice oh, mattress. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or that's a nice side table even. Like, <laughs> Never. Never the mattress. Never, Never the mattress. The mattress. Like, what about a side table? Well, they're but slick. even then, you gotta watch. You know, out. it's like it's. I don't know. Who knows? No, yeah. It's different in the city. <laughs> no, it's you don't know why people are getting rid of things. Well, what it's about, usually not good. What about? Were you like? Uh, did you go to theater camp as a kid? Or I did. You, you did. Yeah. Like, sleep, like one of those sleepaway camps where they put on production. No, I did sleepaway camp once, and that really wasn't for me. But that's that's a whole other story. That was in a place called Lampy, Missouri, and it just really wasn't for me because <laughs> I. It was. Uh, it was it was a culture shock, and also being <laughs> being away for thirty nights was a lot for your first time. Uh -huh. But um, I did a musical theater camp at a temple in Los Angeles every single summer from ages eight to thirteen oh, wow. with my closest friends, 
and we took, I even did it during the school year if I could, and we just took it incredibly seriously from oh, yeah. a very young age. And you had two weeks to put on an entire musical right, right. with sometimes a hundred children yeah. between the ages of five and 13. Ooh. Could you imagine wild. wrangling? And these were older, these, this older couple did it. And she was the choreographer, he was the director. And it's just, it was called Showboat You Theater. I think it might still be around, I'm not sure. But um, these plays that my parents had to sit through, <laughs> you know, every, multiple times every summer. Yeah. I don't know about your kids. I don't oh, know. No, we loved it. it. We loved it. Oh, I didn't. You did? Oh, yeah. It's actually, it's a lot. You loved it. I, I loved not. it. I couldn't get enough. I, w I was like, yes, we will be there. That's, <laughs> I yeah. think I would enjoy it because I think it sounds hilarious. It yeah. is hilarious. But think about like the accumulation. Yes, of, I know. You know, if you do yeah. two performances and, I would say, and that's I would, six. I would and... yell out. I go, I'm pretty sure this is not Fiddler on the Roof. Yeah. <laughs> we actually Fiddler did. on the Roof was amazing and you know it. It was I an incredible. I thought it was a disaster. It was incredible. <laughs> I we mean, we, we didn't even, I think, pay for the rights for some of the plays. So we, instead of Grease, it was called Rockin' at the Hop. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so I don't know how, and then instead of Cats, it was called Valley Cats, because it was yeah. in the San Fernando Valley. Oh, yeah. I love Valley Cats. And Cats with a K. Oh, my gosh. You have to let me know if there, I will go to yeah. watch one of these performances, because uh, I love it. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, more with Elizabeth Olsen when we hear about her new film. They get heavy, there's a beauty and clarity to it all. This feels so real. I'm rambling, I'm sorry. It's the jet lag. I get even more emotional when I fly. <laughs> That's Elizabeth Olsen starring as all of us. <laughs> That's a scene from his three daughters. Yeah. What is happening in that scene? Uh, it's the, it's the opening of the film, actually, and um, these three estranged sisters return to their home. One of them actually currently lives there with their father, who's in hospice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I hope that you can tell from that clip that it's, it sounds like it's a, it is a very uh, heartbreaking film, but at the same time, it's, there's always humor. And, um, and our writer, director, Ozzy Jacobs, wrote the script for me, Natasha Leone, and Carrie Coon to wow. play the sisters. Mm -hmm. um, and he's a good friend of mine and wrote it in this, in this specific rhythm. And the, the whole film kind of has its own musicality, just the language. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's just the three of us. And, a, and the three sisters are very different people, different personalities. Very different, yes. Just as Carrie yes. Coon and yes. Natasha <laughs> Leone are very different from myself. It depends on who I'm with for a long period of time, because if I'm with Carrie, I'll start talking like I'm in a mid-Atlantic sort of gilded age <laughs> yeah, thing. Right. Uh -huh. And then if I'm with Natasha, everyone starts thinking that, uh, people start asking me, where were you born again? It's like yeah. Los Angeles. But right. for whatever reason, I'm starting to talk like I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know? I'm from the Valley. <laughs> Yeah, but, but we all found this uh, pace together, this where we all seemed related, but very different, d very different places from one another within the film itself. Um, and they're all trying to manage things the best they can. The film's really about these, these personas or these perspectives we put on the people in our family, that this is the role they play in the family dynamic. And then strangely, even if we don't believe that we are that role, we come into it and start performing it. Mm. Yeah. And then you start, the, the performance of it starts to stress you out in moments like this. Right. Like you said, this is all of us. Yes, yeah. this is definitely all, all of us. us. His three daughters will be in select theaters Friday and available on Netflix September 20th. Up next, Derek Huff. Tomorrow on Live, also from his three daughters, The dancer just came, came yeah. out like Dancer Fred Astaire. Yeah, Dancer and Slide Out. Like, yeah. Slide out. Let's go. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> so I, I've just been around Bruno all morning, so I'm a little amped right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, lo I, I swear, Bruno is my, he's just. the most incredible person to witness wow. backstage. Yes, oh, yes. Backstage is just real loose, Bruno. Just loose cannon yes. and yes. a lot of underwear. That's a lot of saying. underpants. Yes, there's a lot Total of underwear. Total underpants, 100% of the time. Tidy whities too, yes. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too much information. It's way too early for this. Yeah. Um, you know, it was uh, like uh, exactly a year ago to the day. Yes. To the day that you were here um, and you were on tour with your wife, Haley. And yes. we have to ask, how is she doing? So much has happened between then and now. So much. So much has happened. Um, she is doing great. She's doing wonderful. Uh, you know, when we see the doctors, you know, they, they tell me, they said, no, Derek, we don't see this. You right. know, her, what she had, she should... You know, there should be long-term damage. And I was like, oh, you know, it's a miracle. And he goes, no, Derek, this is a miracle. Mm. Yeah, right. And so we, we were just so thankful. You know, we just so much grace, you know, in yeah. our lives this past year. So we're th so thankful. And thank you all for your, like, support. Yeah. Thank you. It's so interesting because... We, we always say, but we sort of say it in a different way, like, oh, the first year of marriage is always the hardest. But yours actually really, I think, was. Yes, I mean, it was funny, actually. Um, it's funny now. But um, when she woke up, you know, uh, she kind of smiled at me with her, you know, her head shaved, missing half mm -hmm. of her skull. And, and she said, you know, I'm really putting those vows to the test, aren't I? <laughs> so, yeah. I was like, yes, you are, honey. Yes. But, uh, you, yeah, you just celebrated your one-year anniversary. Yes. What did you guys do? Where did you guys go? Yes, we, um, we went back to where we got married, you know, in oh. Carmel, you know, oh, right so on nice. the cliff side. We, we read each other's vows to each other again. And um, we were kind of reading them like, wow, we really did like put all these to the test. And, yeah, you really and, did. Uh, but it's, it's been beautiful. We're closer than ever, and we're just... Or just could be happier. And you visited a place this summer that had been on your bucket list. Yeah. Uh, we went to this same place that you went, only we went during the winter, during oh, the dark wow. times. So I'm curious about, tell us about yes. what it's like in the summer. Well, you know, it's interesting. So when things happen like that, you kind of start thinking, like, what do we want to do with our lives? Yeah. You know, like yeah. some, right. some bucket list moments. And she's always wanted to go to Iceland. So we went to Iceland. Yeah. And we did, like, the glacier hikes. We went into, like, this, the, you know, the tectonic plates, free diving. Um, there the two of us are, and then uh, just wow. incredible. Isn't that an amazing place? It's, it's, it's unlike it's, unlike anything else. It's an alien planet. Yeah, that, that's a fake photo. We're we're, yeah. we're, we're, laying uh, down. we're sideways. We're having fun with that. <laughs> yeah, I would never do that to her. I'm like you know, especially now. Right. Um, but yeah, it was really special. Really it, special. It, I, 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 now I want to go in the summer, in the summer so I can here see it's the amazing. light. Yeah, because yeah, we were there for the darkness. Did you see the, 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 the lights? The northern lights. We missed them. <laughs> we missed them <laughs> because of the clouds. Half Probably, the, right? Because of the clouds, but yeah. half the fun is chasing the northern lights. We met yeah. other couples there that were like have been chasing them for years. For years, for years and years, they yeah. they go to places where the northern lights are supposed to happen, and they have yet to see them. But that's the adventure. That's yeah. it, man. Yeah, Just gotta chase it. Um, a, a new tour this year, a little different from other tours. How so? Yes, this is actually the first time that I'm doing a holiday show, a oh, Christmas oh, show. Amazing. Yes. Yeah. So going on the road, we're going to do uh, 40 cities starting November 1st to December 29th. I'm coming to here in New York at the Beacon Theater. Oh, and great. And all over the country. Um, but it's, it's great. I mean, the music, the costumes, just the feeling. Sure. And, and this, this year has been kind of a year of miracles for us. Mm -hmm. And so to sort of like bring that into the show, it's going to be a great show for the whole family. So please come. You're going to love yeah. it. Especially, yeah. especially the show here in New York yeah. during the holiday season. Holiday shows in New yeah, York are so, so special. It's because the, the whole city really like gets into it. When you're on yeah. tour, when you're on tour, I know you have a couple dogs. Do you take the dogs with you? We do. We take Luna. She's. We have like two dogs. We have three cats. We have way too many animals. But there's Luna. That's her birthday. Uh, <laughs> But it's, she's on the road with us. She's our little emotional support animal. Um, she'll be there, you know, during this Christmas tour. And uh, maybe she'll be, come on stage. Maybe we'll see. How do the other animals feel about Luna clearly being the favorite? Well, <laughs> <laughs> they're stoked because they're in L.A. in their house, yeah, chilling they're like, out. Like, right. They're like, you know, stupid <laughs> Luna yeah, on yeah, the true. road again. <laughs> Luna the lunatic, <laughs> just being crazy. No, it's true. It's, anyways, what's funny, though, is on the last tour, we actually gained another cat because we found a cat in the gutter oh. covered in fleas by the tour bus. And, of course, I was like, don't show Haley. And then she saw it, and, of course, it came with us. Now it's in our house. The, the fleas? fleas? And yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, we, have, we, 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 we collect animals. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a break. When we come back, Derek, tell us about an all-new... 
হ্যালো দেখতে পাচ্ছেন খুব সুন্দর ড্রয়িং এই ড্রয়িংটা আপনি করতে পারবেন কীভাবে করবেন কটা রং লাগবে কি কী করতে হবে সেটা শেয়ার করব অবশ্যই ভিডিওটা পুরোপুরি দেখতে বলবেন না ধন্যবাদ সবাইকে Thank you. 